So here's the update on my um, skeleton undead fantasy army that I'm building and I'm basing it on Greek, ancient Greeks. The cavalry are complete all but for the painting and these are 10 lancers um, again based on light Greek cavalry of the time these guys wore little armour and were um, very fast um, as opposed to the heavy units of medieval times I've added individual poses to some and most if not all of the characters and they've been repinned, reanimated. Um, torn cloth has been duplicated. This guy's got a cape. Um, and the bridlery and the reins have been added also. The other units that I've been working on, as well as a chariot, are a phalanx, a phalanx and the archers. I shall move these out of the way. The archers I've done as a 10 man group, again each individually posed and pinned. I've added quivers and they've also got, although it's hard to see with the undercoat on, scratch built um, bands for their quivers, belts for their quivers. Each one again individually um, posed different angles and different uh, different attack um, um, poses. These guys again just need to be painted and the drawstrings added. Likewise I have 15 heavy infantry formed in a phalanx. These are a combination of kitbashed combination of Games Workshop together with the War Games Factory Greeks and some un war games factory skeletons that again very de delicate um, and they took some time to build it's hard to see the detail on these miniatures now because of the undercoat the painting section will bring these out the helmets I've had to remove the face guard so that I can actually had add the games workshop skeleton faces um, and then rebuilt the cheek guards and nose guards around the individual helmets. All individually posed again. All that needs to be ha added to these after the painting are the shields. And with these guys being the heavy hoplite, they will have the larger aspis hoplite shields. A bonus that I've decided to make for this army, being ancient Greek themed, are these guys. Five of them in total. Skeleton centaurs. Quite pleased with these guys. Again, individually posed. We've got an archer there, a guy with a spear there and a shield. Um, a very mean looking guy with double swords. Um, another guy with a longer spear and again mounted with a short sword and uh, sorry a long sword and the smaller shield again individually posed all these will look absolutely amazing on, on no doubt once they're painted so please please keep tuned for the updates and on top of that I've got the risers obviously um, the guys coming out the ground um, an interesting one I will show you now this fella here just be climbing out of the ground and I saw a similar um, mini on the internet um, with a fellow skeleton helping his mate at the earth um, adds a touch of um, comedy to the unit. There will be a set of these risers to be used with the infantry. The chariot, or should I say now two chariots, are in um, post, um, post workshop at the moment, for a better word. They're um, 
delicate but not completed um, the chariot itself is complete the individual figures they are complete it's just a case of I'm not going to show you something that I've already shown until that model is completely pinned and the characters are in place so again please stay tuned for those chariots they will be um, coming along shortly so as it stands with the exception of the phalanx the heavy infantry um, most of these models are games workshop just repinned reanimated the odd um, weapon or shield swap has been given as with the cavalry they are indeed games workshop apart from the sculpting that's been added I would say they are 100% games workshop models now on a whole uh, that would make the complete army once finished more than 75% games workshop um, I am dreading um, taking the figures up to the local store for them to see um, or some of the guys may, may deem them um, unplayable with the phalanx troops, the heavy infantry not being games workshop models um, I would say that they're more 30% possibly 25% on the games workshop front and the majority of these miniatures um, being the war games factory model shame really that games workshop didn't um, actually produce a range like this um, again I don't want a vampire count army I don't want a tomb king army I want a skeleton undead army 